Ton anda. Anda, hoi. We. Put him down. Try and walk. Can he walk? No. Come Boys, today we've come to the afternoon market in Krabby Town. We're going to look for some street food. So this is the side that you don't see. I choose not to show you this. He's determined to get across there to the 7-Eleven. Unfortunately, there's more and more of these sorts of times happening as he gets older. Hi. Today, we've come to the Krabby City Market. Fortunately, to work with the star of our show, it's not very happy. Orange had to go and... What's that? Yes, ice cream. So he's refusing to do anything unless... He got something from 7-Eleven, so we'll be able to start the video now that he's happy. <laughs> Alright, so we came along here to find some street food. As you can see, there's lots of flowers, lots of fruit. This is a pretty good little market. It's, I think, the third market I came to in Thailand. Still one of my favourites. I'll put the Google Maps coordinates down in the description below the video. There's all sorts of food here. Prepared fruit on ice. Down towards the back is the cooked food section. You happy now? Looks like he's happy. Mm. This shop's got all sorts of yummy looking donuts and things. These look pretty good. I think I'm gonna have to try one of them. Oh, an e cup? An e cup? Up and cap. <coughs> All right, what else we got? All sorts of desserts. Glutinous orange rice. And I'm la. Oh, smiley face. <laughs> Lottery tickets there, sushi here. This is a great little market. Heaps of yummy stuff. Fish on the grill there. The seafood sauce. Rice cakes. Bananas, stink beans, Muslim samosas and things, Fatty cup, cup, cup and cup, cup and cup. All right, let's see what else they got. Okay. Chicken. Yummy fried chicken. Mm, looks good. Chicken skin. Sorts of fruit shakes. Vegetable shakes.
down there, there's all sorts of takeaway dishes. You might have seen that shop featured in a video last year of takeaway in Thailand. So we're making Thai fish cakes here. Got them bagged up. How many you want? 20 baht? Okay, Al. Al Anundue Cup. I do like those, I'm not sure what they are. Uh, and then two are they, Cup? Two are they? Fish cake. Fish cake. Fish cake. Oh, yeah. okay. Coconut. Coconut fish cakes. Okay. Pasatai? Totmanta Sai Makrao. Totmanta Sai Makrao. Cup. Apple Makrao. Nanda's enjoying the coconut fish cakes. Spicy. Yes, yeah, spicy. You know? Yes. <laughs> I was enjoying them till the chili kicked in. So my samosas, they come with a sweet chili sauce. I'm not going to add that to them. They look very good. Mm, they are very good. It's a bit sweet, a bit salty in there. It's like a like a pillow almost, biting into a pillow. It's very light and fluffy. Really good. My hot dog, I've already taken a bite of this without realizing that the camera was off. The bread is very light and soft in the middle. It's a bit crunchy and sweet on the outside. The sausage in the middle doesn't have much flavor, but it's pretty tasty. Give it about a six or seven out of 10, I guess. Texture is nice though. Amanda's been rather difficult, to say the least. Orn's got the fish cakes there. <laughs> All right. Spicy. Spicy. Yes. Ah. For me. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Well, this video is going great. So the fish cake, seeing Horn's not gonna <laughs> give one to me, I'll try it for myself. <laughs> mm. They are very spicy, fishy, salty, yum. Then the fish and coconut cakes. I do like these. Coconutty. Didn't actually know that they were fish cakes. I knew I liked them for a reason, but they're really good. They are quite spicy, very yum. That was going to be a shot of a happy family walkthrough. Didn't go anywhere near according to plan. Shop's got all sorts of ingredients here. Got the canamla. Got the little rice cakes in the other shop. Eggs, salted eggs, pink eggs. All sorts of vegetables and namprik dips. Chili paste. Garlic and red onions. Oil. Sugar. Dried chili and all sorts of sauces. More vegetables there. Do quite often buy takeaway from this shop. Got all sorts of yummy curries. A sea snail curry there. And sweets. Little restaurant there. Alright, some Isan food. And more of these things. Shop that's here normally has pork satay, but not today. Alright. About here, what do we got? Just pancakes. Smoked sausage, chicken sausage, egg and coconut custard, fish cakes. Oh, an cup. Oh, song cup. Cup and cup. Uh, what do you got now? Chop a chop. Okay, on spotted something that she wants. Sweet potato balls. Might 
try some of the sesame balls as well. To a sea cow cup. That's the green bean up and cup. My pancake sausage. It's got sauce inside there. Ketchup as a lot of you guys probably call it. Pancake sweet. Sausage is a bit smoky. Very tasty. These are really popular and there's heaps of different varieties of them available around Thailand. <laughs> I've been hoeing into these potato balls, so I'm going to grab one before they are all gone. Got a, a potato flavour overall, slightly sweet, not much flavour with those, but they're pretty good. She has a lot of trouble smiling when she eats because she's got a small mouth, she tells me. Yeah. I don't like it, but if in um, walking stick, long hang, it's mm. sticky. They use them like, same like sticky powder and mm. sticky mild. Mm. These ones are good. The ones in Klonghang Walking Street are not as good. Hey, the sesame seed balls. I got these with green bean, I believe. They're like a, a Chinese sesame ball. You see them at most of the markets around Thailand. No green in there, but it is very tasty. Soft and fluffy. The outside's a little bit crunchy and the sesame seeds give it a great flavour. A little sweet, not too sweet though, but really tasty. I do enjoy these. It's a little soup kitchen here, Swati Kap. Tam video cup. YouTube cup. <laughs> Got pad thai and stir fries. Little restaurant. Yummy looking sausages. These look very interesting. Stuffed with rice. And this lady here also has grilled sausages. Got a number of different sorts. I might have to try this one stuffed with rice here. Oh, eat this one on the go. Mm. Smoky and sweet. Maybe a little bit spicy as well. That is really good. Which way? Maybe go and explore the outside. Quite often buy fish from this shop. It's got some yummy dried fish. More curries. This is the place to be in the evening in Krabby Town. One of the places at least. More of those sweets. I don't know what those are. I think I'm going to have to try them. They almost look like a dried apricot that's coated in sesame seeds, but I know that's not what they are. Anika. Anika. Yusip. Okay, cup. Hapumakav. Or rice cakes. This guy here has got all sorts of grilled fish as well. Mackerel, fried prawns and prawn crates. Any kai blach, am I? Okay, fish eggs. Okay, down here, ladies making salads, seafood salads. Very popular, and noodle salads. <laughs> And all sorts of things on sticks there. Chicken liver, grilled chicken. Guys got a little griller back there. Stink beans. 
durian. Durian's going up in price. It's near the end of the season. Seems to be 120 baht a kilo everywhere. Lots more sweets there. Well, the final thing I'm going to try is these guys. I don't know what they are. It's some sort of pancake-y type thing. They're a bit soft, covered in sesame seeds. They look pretty tasty. They're a bit doughy. Very similar in flavor to the sesame seed ball I had before. Probably not quite as sweet as that one was. They're not bad, but I think overall I prefer the sesame seed bowls. So that's some street food at a market in Thailand. This market's open every day from four till seven. It's a great place to explore. There's heaps more food that I didn't get around to trying today. So if you're interested in trying some real Thai cuisine, mixing with the locals, this is a great place to do it. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for lots more Thailand food and travel videos. I post new videos every Wednesday. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.